Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop and this is the Serious Player Only Player One. So this is a brand new company, a brand new shoe company and I really like this company and what they're doing and uh, some people don't like it because, or as far as this shoe goes, you know, because it resembles a Kobe a lot but honestly, I'm not mad because I love Kobe's, you know, and the, specifically the Kobe 8, the Kobe 9, and the Kobe 11, which I have right here, right? The Kobe 11 EM, and then the Kobe 9 EM, right? So if you loved the performance of the Kobe 9, or the Kobe 11, or the Kobe 8, this shoe is really, really nice. It performs really similarly to those shoes, and it, of course, drew a lot of inspiration from those shoes, right? So this shoe is going for 158 bucks, which is a very specific price number I don't know why it's priced like that but uh, it is that's how much it is so if you guys do want to cop I try to leave an affiliate link in the description box uh, but let's get it started off with the Tractiones and the Traction as you guys all know I mean I do have two colorways here this pink one and also this white one or this is the actual like sea salt colorway and uh, the traction is really, really good. You have a very, very good bite. And I was very surprised. It has a top tier bite. It picks up very minimal dust too. But if it does pick up dust, it's a super easy and slight wipe, right? Uh, the one thing that I had an issue with though is the durability. It has, it's basically like little nubbies, right? So it's, uh, it's like a herringbone traction pattern. And then between the grooves, we have like a nub pattern that kind of follows the herringbone, right? And it's just like a super soft rubber. And like I said, the traction is really good, but if you feel it, the rubber is super thin and obviously it has nubs and nubs just rip off, right? Uh, so outdoor use, obviously it's not the best, but attraction was really good. And of course, another really dope thing about this shoe is this carbon fiber midfoot shank plate, right? And that is a very nice premium touch just because, you know, in other shoes, I mean, besides like the elite versions, but like here in the Kobe 9, we just have plastic, right? We don't really have anything here in the Kobe 11 EMs. And even in the elites, uh, there wasn't really any carbon fiber either. So that is a nice premium touch. And also this like silver color on the carbon fiber is really, really nice, right? Uh, and uh, also moving on to the heel to toe transition. Heel to toe transition is very much like the Kobe 11 or the Kobe 9, which I'm not a huge fan of just because I don't like to have a clunky heel right so uh, because of the design here in the heel and the drop in midsole it is just rubber right so uh, we don't really have a, a like a soft midsole or anything and for example in the Kobe 8 the Kobe 8 is actually just foam so it's a little bit softer although the foam is pretty stiff right but it doesn't really clunk in the Kobe 8 but of course here in the Kobe 9 it clunks it feels a little bit clunky here in the heel and same thing with the Kobe 11 EM, right? It's not a huge deal and I know a lot of people that love playing in the Kobe 9, the Kobe 11, the Kobe 8, but uh, it's just a little minor thing for me, you know, I don't like that. But once you get here into the forefoot, we have a nice curve shape and a good amount of forefoot flex, right? So uh, overall, it's super smooth, but we have different drop-in midsoles, right? So uh, the original shoe that came out, right, the Player 1, it came with this a drop in midsole and they're calling it Evanlon, right? And it's just a regular foam and actually looks very, very similar to, look, the Kobe 9, right? Look at that. Look at the similarities in the design, like these actual like nubs as well. That that helps to grip your sock and kind of keep your foot in place as well. Uh, but the major difference is that this cushion is just so much better uh, because it's actually a lot thicker. If you Right? If you feel the Kobe 9, especially here in the forefoot, it's really, really thin. It's Even here in the heel, it's pretty thin, right? Uh, here in the player ones, it's actually a little bit thicker. And also here on the bottom, we can see there are some inserts here in the forefoot and here in the heel. So this white part, they're calling this popcorn. And uh, it's basically like boost. And then where the circle is, they're calling it gum, right? So it's just for a little bit more impact protection. It's more like a softer foam compared to the Evan Lawn, right? Uh, so uh, there, this is the regular drop in midsole, right? But we have a brand new serious player only support midsole, right? So uh, this foam is actually a little bit softer, it feels like. It's not that much softer, but it feels a little bit softer. And obviously just because it is a drop in midsole, your foot is right on top of the foam. And uh, you know, let's see, in both of these shoes, right? I have a different, like I have the regular pink one. And then here in this pair, I have the support midsole, right? So I had both of them on at the same time and uh, it seemed to have a little bit more compression and it was a little bit softer for step and comfort. And also the arch support was a little bit better. I could feel the arch, like this part coming up onto my arch compared to the regular one. So if you want a little bit more arch support, uh, this is a little bit better. But of course, it's still the same as far as the, the inserts go here in the heel and here in the forefoot that'll improve impact protection, uh, but also so we have this 
plate, right? This plastic plate. So you get a little bit more, just a tiny bit more flex, right? I don't think it improves it that much, honestly, because this still has good flex and like that, that springiness. Because honestly, this plastic is like on the thinner side of things, right? You can still flex it a good amount. I feel like it gives a little bit more support and just a tiny bit more like spring back. So I definitely like what they're doing because, right? That was the main thing, that was the main issue in Kobe's, right? So the Kobe's, especially, this was just Lunar Line, right? And Lunar Line is really crappy because it bottoms out very quickly. And like I mentioned before, this is super duper thin. So it, it bottoms out and then like after like a couple weeks, even like a month of playing, uh, your foot, like when you're doing hard impact, your feet, like compress the foam a lot and just hits the ground and it hurts a lot, right? So that's the one thing that I really like about these drop in midsoles, especially with these inserts, is that impact protection is better. It's also thicker and also it's a little bit more resilient. It, it lasts a lot longer than Lunalon feels like, just from my experience. Uh, and also it's replaceable. Nike never gave us replaceable drop in midsoles, right? So once the cushion here in the Kobe 9, the Kobe 8, or even the Kobe 11 like bottomed out, that's it. The, the cushion is just done for. Right, but here uh, in the serious player only player one, you can replace the, the, the cushion, right? So if you want more cushion, uh, if it bottoms out, then you can get a brand new cushion, which is really, really dope. And the support midsole is only 29, it's 30 bucks, right? It's, I, I feel like that's a pretty good deal uh, to get brand new cushion. Right, so this is actually a really nice drop in mid, so I really like it. And of course, everything else is the same, right? Uh, we have Nerve Knit. So it's basically just a TPU mesh fabric that they're calling Nerve Knit. It's like a Nerve Knit upper. And so we have this pink colorway, and then uh, we also have this special edition Love colorway. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So this is basically like a, a sea salt, right? They have another colorway called sea salt, I believe. It's more of like a very nice off-white. I really like this monotone color, but it says love here, which is pretty cool. And then, uh, as far as the quality goes, it's, it's pretty good. I would say it feels a little cheap, but it's really, really thin. It feels supportive as well. We have like these threaded overlays, right? basically over this upper to improve the support and also the durability, which I do like. And also for the fit, the fit is very, very short, right? So I went basically up a full size and it fits me really, really well. So if you want to be maybe on the safer side of things, maybe just go up half a size. But for me and what I did, I went up a full size because um, yeah, these run really, really short. Uh, so I would suggest doing that. And I guess also if you have a wide foot, probably go up more than a full size, right? Just because this is a pretty narrow fit and here in the toe box, it is quite snug. Uh, so uh, the fit is a little bit weird. Now, hopefully they fix that in the upcoming models, but I do like what they're doing because they are also listening to us and they're listening to customer feedback. They're taking into consideration all that just so like, I was emailing them, right? And I was like, so this, I don't think it's very durable. So they are making changes to the next model. And they're gonna have some new models uh, coming out in the near future, which I'm pretty damn excited about. Um, but yeah, that was a that was a thing that they I discussed with them, right? The durability, which is really, really dope. And also the cushion, right? Uh, the cushion, I feel like that th this is really dope as well because it's replaceable, you know what I mean? So uh, I do like what they're doing here. And as far as the weight goes, let's actually, I, I wonder which one's lighter. So we have the regular drop in midsole, right? This is probably gonna be super duper light. Yeah, 1.83 ounces, super duper light. Uh, but, and then let's check the support midsole. It'll probably be, probably be a little bit heavier, right? 2.82 ounces, so it's just like, it's an ounce heavier. That's actually a good amount, an ounce, probably due to the plastic or maybe even the, the foam used. But also, like I said, this foam is a little bit softer. And then let's actually check the Kobe's. The Kobe 11 is 10.3 ounces. And then let's check the, the player ones. 11.15 ounces so it's it's a little bit heavier but the kobe 11s honestly are like super duper light and then the kobe 9s are 10.05 ounces so uh, the player ones are a little bit heavier but i mean an ounce and that doesn't really make that big of a difference and also like i said it's probably because of the cushion right uh, the foam because the foam is well actually let's check this yeah one ounce <laughs> So yeah, it's probably because of this, you know, and, and Luna Line is kind of crappy, so. So anyways, I'm super excited about this company, and uh, also uh, the shoe is very, very nice. So if you guys do want to cop, again, I'll try to leave a link in the description box. And also, it looks pretty damn sick. This pink colorway, uh, th this pink colorway looks dope, but also I really like this, like, sea salt color. It's like it's off-white. It's just a good-looking shoe, in my opinion, as well, and it performs very, very well. And like I said, if you guys want a shoe that performs like a Kobe 11 or the Kobe 9 or the Kobe 8, uh, this is pretty much uh, the, the shooter get, right? I guess besides like the 8082, the 8082 performs pretty similarly as well. But anyways, that about concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.